whatever, you know. I like that. Now there are a couple of new features in version 4.0 that have somewhat kind of similar features, so I'm going to lump them together, and they are the matrix pattern sequencer and the RPG8 monophonic arpeggiator. Both of them are new, and both of them actually make no sounds by themselves. They control other devices. Let's look at the Matrix first. Do you remember at the bottom of Thor, we had this little step sequencer where we could uh, run a bunch of notes and do a bunch of other things, but that was only for Thor and not, for example, available in Subtractor. So let me delete this guy, and we'll bring over an instance of Subtractor and go all the way down to the bottom and bring over a Matrix pattern sequencer and drag that below. And I'll just scroll up here. Now, if we run this, well, we'll just have a bunch of notes here. Now, what is our matrix actually doing? It's just spitting out a bunch of C3 notes across these 16 steps. If I was to paint a bunch of other different notes, then it would play those. You can switch octaves over here. So maybe I wanted to put a couple of high notes here. You can set your resolution over here. And finally, we have 64 patterns that can be stored. That's eight times these four letters right here, these four banks here. We're playing around with A1. And like most of us in Reason, you can right click or underneath the edit here. You can copy that pattern and then paste it into another pattern. You can also randomize pattern to get a very cool kind of sound. All of these features have kind of been played around with in Redrum and the step sequencer uh, also in Thor. So I'll go pretty quickly here. But the main thing to grasp is this, that the matrix pattern sequencer is all about assigning values to each step, which then leave and play something else. In this example, the matrix is playing notes on the subtractor. But how is it actually doing that? Let's flip the rack around. 